All right, good evening, church. I good hope evening. you are having an amazing day. What a beautiful day it is, is going on here. Fantastic day. We have some exciting things here happening at the church, too. Yes, We're we actually do. tearing into building a Connex home as we speak and are recording this. So, uh, hey, God is moving, and we're excited. And uh, that leads us to the verse that I want us to read today, Psalm 150. And, and I have my good buddy here, John Simmons, is here with us to, to, to dive into the scriptures. So we're very excited about that as well. So why don't you get us started here in Psalm 150? Okay, we're going to read Psalm 150, King James Version. Hear ye the name of the Lord, or hear the word of the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Praise mm -hmm. God in his sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with psaltery and harp. Verse 4, praise him with timbrel and dancing. Praise him with stringed instruments and pipe. Praise him with loud cymbals. Praise him with resounding cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I love this verse. Uh, as a musician, to me, it's, it's, it's uh, praising the Lord is, is something that is second nature is something that I desire it's something we uh, are, it's important to us here as a church Absolutely. we've taken a huge stand um, but when you just read through some of this what are some things that kind of stick out to you um, that David was this is about King David writing this Absolutely. Uh, David. well I think David had a particular appreciation because for uh, the outside because he was a shepherd mm-hmm uh, he was on the run from Absalom. <laughs> so he, he's not someone who's unfamiliar with uh, being outside. So I imagine as he's sitting out there praying and praising God and, and asking for redemption and a resolution to his situation, he probably noticed that there were beautiful sounds coming out of, out of the sky mm -hmm. with the birds and the wind blowing, the sound of the wind through the trees, even the way the leaves flicker when they go through the trees, the the ripple on the water, the way a bird flies on a wing. Mm. This is all giving praise to God. And we attempt to emulate these things by our songs of praise. In, in the book of James, we're told that if we're sick, if there's any among you sick, let them sing psalms. Yeah. So when you get sick and you feel bad, sing praise. Sing praise to God. You'd be surprised. Maybe you won't be surprised. You know, that's, that's a fascinating statement. I think about David as, you know, I mean, of course he was a shepherd. He was out there you know, with the sheep and, and would protect the sheep. and But just the, the time he might spend uh, being outside. And he starts off in verse 1, he says, Praise the Lord. And then he thinks, you know, I, I wonder if he thinks back to, you know, let's praise him in the sanctuary. We do that on Sunday morning, right? Praise him in the sanctuary. Right. But then he goes right on to the next phrase there and says, Praise him in his mighty expanse. And I, and I wonder if David just kind of pondering, like, you know, I don't have to wait till Sunday to praise the Lord. That's right. I mean, if, my wife, for instance, she loves to hike, and I don't mind hiking as much. I prefer a motorcycle a little bit more, you know. But uh, she love, but but she likes to get out away from sure. everything else, and in in just the beauty of God. And I think you can, that's when you can hear and just see how great our God is. I think there's there's something just spectacular. I love to go out at night and look at the stars. Oh, absolutely. I, I love, and you just you just imagine like how how amazing our God is. And he's saying this. Here, here's King David saying, Praise him in his mighty expanse. Praise him for his mighty deeds, he says in verse 2. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. And, I, and I, I'm kind of challenged by, you know, challenge you guys and myself, you know, how often do we actually praise God? You know, we, we do on Sunday morning, we worship, sure. right? We, we, and sometimes we sure. think we might hook the two together that worship and praise are the same exact thing. But how often during, during our week are we praising God? And so, um, what are some other thoughts in there you just kind of saw and noticed? Well, uh, you know, you're talking about praising not only on Sunday, but we've Scripture tells us to pray without ceasing. Yeah. So why not praise without ceasing? When you walk, mm. worship. When you talk, worship. When you drive your car, worship. Those may sound like far away obtuse uh, things to do, but the reality is that it's part of your life. It's part of something you do every day. And it does say praise without, or to pray without ceasing. Mm. We can eat. <laughs> yeah. Uh, ride a horse. Ride yeah. your motorcycle. Yeah. Worship's not just about singing. Exactly. And praying is not just about singing. You know, we, we talked a little bit on Sunday about, you know, some, some core things we think here is worship, the word, and prayer. But worship is anything we do. Uh, to, to bring glory to God. Well, sure. And, and the scripture tells us also that if we resist the devil, 
He flees from us. Yeah. So when we worship and when we praise God, we're just smacking him hard. We're, yeah. we're hitting him hard. We're letting him know that, hey, you don't matter, but our God does. Yeah. And that's where we, that's our refuge. That's where we hide. Yeah, that's really good. Now, I know you're a musician, so I want to give you a chance to share a little bit here. You uh, you play on the worship team here, and so I know you've uh, led worship before. And so what was it that kind of drew you into wanting to lead worship? Or um, I don't know if you've always done worship <laughs> or how that you came to that point, but what is it that kind of made you realize... You, the importance of worship, I guess, even with an instrument, you know, here well, the instruments they put is a trumpet and harps, and, but you know, as a uh, before I got saved, I played secular music and I played in everywhere from chicken coops to taverns and outdoor <laughs> venues and on the beach uh, in the back of the Volkswagen van. One day, I was at a uh, some young lady had convinced me to go to a seminar, a Christian seminar, with her, and I heard the worship band. And it was just one of those things, like the boxer who's got a plan, I got hit. Mm. And it started to take a hold of me. And eventually, when I became saved, I was able to really fully engage that and play with uh, and for youth groups for different uh, venues and such. And um, as far as where I'm at now with it, it's to me, it's just wonderful that God allows me the privilege, and I mean it that way, to play music for him. I, I feel like he just tells all heaven, hold on, our guys are going to play now. <laughs> so, right. And, and that, that type of honor and dignity and glory uh, that, that uh, he is, and we get to worship him, is just, for me, personally, an incredible experience. Yeah. Well, and, and like you mentioned, there's, there's the, the change that happens when we're playing for ourselves and we're playing for the Father. Much, much like anything we do, right? I mean, if we're doing it for ourselves, then we realize, wow, God designed me to do right. this. I've been created and molded to do this. And so, uh, you know, my, myself, I, I'm one who I grew up playing. Uh, I learned music, and then I played in a band, and then we played on the wor youth worship team, and then we played on the church worship team. And, and, and worship is one of those things that something happens in the spiritual world that we oh, don't absolutely. see. Absolutely. And so, you know, I always tell people, I was like, listen, when I, when I get depressed or I get anxious or, you know, uh, any of these other things, I keep trying to figure out, you know, what, what can I do? Well, I pick up a guitar and I go back and I worship and I begin to worship and it helps me through difficult times. It, re it refreshes my soul. I don't know how to explain it, but there's almost like a refreshing and a peace because I believe God's doing this spiritual battle that, that I don't see that's happening and it's 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 impacting my spirit and soul through worship. Right. And so, what are you... Have you experienced anything? Kind yes, of? I have, and I think um, it's it's just breakthrough, is what it is. Yeah. It's it's a spiritual breakthrough. It's allowing us to take those steps closer and closer and closer to our, you know our final destination, if you will, but to prepare us more to be in God's presence. Because when we're there, when we're in God's presence, we're going to be singing all the time. We're yeah. going to be praising all the time. We're going to be dancing all the time. Everything that we're going to do is going to be to praise God and. I really look forward to it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think we all do. As, as a musician, when you're playing worship and you look and you see the congregation engaged, there's, you know, there's nothing, I mean, as far as a feeling for oneself, that's selfish to say so, but it really makes you feel that you're doing something that matters, that, that can help people yeah. to, again, it's that breakthrough, you know, we're all looking for breakthrough, that, that little bump that keeps us from going to the next step in our relationship with the Lord. And I, I think that using music, you can achieve breakthrough a lot easier and quicker because if you're angry about something, say something happens and you're angry, try singing. Yeah. And you'd be surprised. Absolutely. Maybe not. But well, this is part of just being obedient. It says, let, verse 6, let everything that has breath praise the Lord. And and I will tell you, if you, you're struggling with the, the worries, cares, burdens... Um, you may not be able to play, but you know what? You can put on worship music. Absolutely. And you know what? The same effects can still happen. You can sing along with those songs. You can begin to just praise and worship. So so I, I always tell people, change change the atmosphere. And you can do that by immersing. Instead of just putting on the radio of yeah. whatever you know music you want to have, 
Put worship music on. Put, put music on that's glorifying and pointing back to God. And I can tell you, there's a spiritual battle that will happen that will begin to change the environment of your home, of your house, of your land. And you know what? God can begin to heal during that time. And so, all right. Uh, man, 10 minutes goes by really fast. It does, too uh, fast. I really appreciate you being here. Would you like to just bless and pray over that's us? That's sure. Very here. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, I thank you for this opportunity to share with people, Lord. I Thank you for our fellowship and our congregation, Lord, and I thank you for the many, many new people who've come by and the many who come to visit, Father. Father, I thank you that you've provided us music to worship you, Lord. Yeah, yeah. Lord, those who are seeking breakthrough, Lord, we pray for those individuals particularly, Father, because they are, do desire you with all their mind, body, heart, and soul, Lord, as do we. Father, again, we thank you, and we ask uh, for that blessing, and we look forward to seeing you. In your time, in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. God bless. Have a great week. Thank Have you for spending time week. with us, and we hope to see you all on Sunday.